Hi, Gina Saboda, Chair, Republican Party of Arizona, with an important breaking update. I'm seeing a lot of traffic on Twitter, now known as X, uh, and um, various emails that are going out um, from individual voters. We're getting a lot of calls uh, here at the AZGOP. I'm seeing emails from third party groups. We love you, third party groups. Keep rocking. I'm going to explain how early ballots are mailed. There seems to be some confusion. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm a certified election officer here in the state of Arizona, so I know how this works. Here's how this works. By statute, the mail ballots, the early ballots, may not be mailed any earlier than, in this cycle, October 9th. What does that mean? That does not mean that all of the people on the early ballot list get their ballots put in the mail on Wednesday, October 9th. No, no, they do not. Let's take Maricopa, because a lot of the questions we're getting are about Maricopa. Okay, there are three waves where the mail ballots are issued in Maricopa County. The first wave went out October 9th. If you got it right away, huzzah for you. You're a lucky person. Vote, vote, rock on. The second wave went out October 10th. The third wave went out October 11th. Then came Sunday. Then came today, Columbus Day. Those are what we call no mail days, all right? It's always taken on average five to seven days for people to get their mail ballots. If you are a person whose ballots fall on wave one, uh, and you're on a route that comes directly from the USPS Central uh, Phoenix Postal Office, you've probably always gotten your ballot the next day. Again, you're very lucky. You're very blessed. The earlier you get to vote, the better. That's not true for most of us, okay? I think people are noticing now because we're all very passionately engaged in voting early, which is awesome. This is a great problem to have. I'm overjoyed that the phones are lighting up with people going, where's my mail ballot? Where's my mail ballot? Rock on, okay? So there is nothing to be concerned about in my Gina Sobota, chair of the Republican Party of Arizona's opinion. I contacted the vendor uh, to make sure there were no delays. And you know what, you know what they said? They said everything that I just said to you. There are no delays with Maricopa. Uh, I do know people that are getting about 20 pieces of, of uh, political mail in their box every day. So make sure you're, you're checking carefully, but election mail gets prioritized over that. So don't worry, it's coming. Here's what you should do if you're in Maricopa County and you're concerned because you haven't gotten your mail ballot yet. Tuesday and Wednesday, which would be tomorrow, Tuesday the 15th, and Wednesday, October 16th, are the dates that the majority of mail ballots are received by voters on the mail ballot list in Maricopa County. And that has always been the case. There is nothing new about that. If you, person who was on the mail ballot list earlier than, than two weeks ago, right? You didn't like, like me, Gina. I was like, oh, I'm going to be in the war room. I better sign up for a mail ballot. I like to vote in person. I'm not going to have time. So I added myself to the list late. So I don't expect to get mine Wednesday. I'll probably get mine by the end of the week. But if you were on the mail ballot list, you should wait till Wednesday. Wait till the day after tomorrow, if indeed you want to wait for your mail ballot. You know what I'm going to say. Go to one of the early voting locations and go vote in person. They're open. Okay. Go to uh, Arizona.vote. Click through to Maricopa. Click through to, uh, there's a PDF that'll open every voting location. Find one that's open near you. Just get her done. Uh, you don't have to bring in a spoiled ballot. You, you know, how, we've talked about this before. But if you want to wait for your ballot, wait till Wednesday. Mail delivery on Wednesday. What do you do if it's Wednesday and you don't have your mail ballot? I will tell you what to do. Go to beballotready.vote. Make sure, check there, it'll tell you your status. It should say it was issued. If you do not have Maricopa, if you do not have your mail ballot in your mailbox box on the drop off on Wednesday, then you should call six, that's my terrible six, 602-506-1511. That's the Maricopa County Elections Department. And you could say, I didn't get my mail ballot. I want my mail ballot. I don't want to go in person. It's Wednesday. What's going on? They'll connect you. They'll look you up. Okay, good to go. We good? We good. We good. Okay, let me talk about Pima. Pima had a different issue. Pima actually had a delay. 
Um, there are things uh, called precincts that we know and love, and then there are precinct splits. Um, and if you, whether or not your county votes by precinct or vote center doesn't matter. I'm talking about the ballot style, what's on your ballot. And when there's a split in a precinct, there are certain races that are on each side of the split. I mean, you might have um, a school district that's in half of like, let's say, Onyx precinct, okay? And it could be Onyx 01 or Onyx 02. And in Onyx 02, there's one race that's not on a one. There was an issue the way Pima programmed the ballot. I, I, my understanding is it impacted like four voters, but they held the whole delivery to reprint that section of ballots to get it out. And you can go uh, Google, uh, or you can actually, um, well, these people are gonna kill me, but you can call us at AZGOP uh, and, and we'll let you know, I tweeted it out. I'll make sure it's tweeted out, okay? There's an article out there in, in like Tucson, news.com, whatever it is. Uh, there's a press release from the Pima County Elections Department, the Pima County Recorder, explaining that they had a delay. They had to reprint, reprint this one split of precincts in Pima and they held the last job. So I talked to the printer today and the last batch of Pima ballots went out in the mail today. So if you're in Pima, it's probably going to take until Thursday or Friday if you're in that area for that batch that was held. Okay. Okay. So then just to make sure uh because you know i'm trust no one and then verify it's a little variation of president reagan um according to the united states post office the postal service 60 percent of the ballots are out for delivery right now so again following along that means 40 percent have not hit uh the trucks yet 60 percent are on the trucks for tomorrow, because there's no mail today, and then the other 40% will come. So again, Gina Svoboda, I am so excited. This is a great problem to have. Please keep bringing me stuff like this. Please keep giving me phone calls where people are like, I'm trying to vote, I want to vote, I yearn to vote early, I can't vote, where or where is my ballot? This is fantastic, because what this means is that you're all excited and that we're voting early. But um, I feel quite confident that all is well. This is a completely normal part of the process. For those who are asking why are there only 11 vote centers open, there have only ever been 11 vote centers open at this time, okay? We're up to 12, but we were like 11, there were like 12, and we, we've never had uh, uh, these open on a Saturday in, in previous cycles. So we're exactly where we should be. Things are going great. Keep on voting. We love you. I love you. Honor to serve you. I'll see you next time.